Another major Second Amendment victory today in Colorado, this time in front of a judge, ready for this, appointed to the federal bench by Joe Biden. Just this year, Charlotte Sweeney, a federal district court judge, has just entered a temporary restraining order saying that Boulder counties, Boulder, Colorado, their assault weapon ban and their ban on so-called large capacity magazines is stayed, meaning it is enjoined and it will not go into effect for at least 14 days because of the possibility, likely the strong possibility, that it violates the Second Amendment. Stay tuned. We'll talk more about this in just a second. Hey folks, I'm Mark Smith, host of The Four Boxes Diner, best-selling author, proud American gun owner, member of the U.S. Supreme Court Bar, and constitutional attorney. If you haven't subscribed to the Four Boxes Diner Second Amendment channel, please do so. We're working really hard to increase our subscriber base and it's going slow for some reason. And I really need your support to try to increase these numbers to help us with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, folks, this is another bit of good news, if not great news. Remember we talked about when NYSERPA versus Bruin, the Supreme Court decision was decided. I explained to you that because they got rid of the balancing test, meaning balancing your right to keep and bear arms against the state's so-called you know, worry about public safety and public interest, this generic stuff, okay? Once the Supreme Court got rid of those balancing tests, which they use a euphemism called tiers of scrutiny or intermediate scrutiny, once the Supreme Court says that is not how we interpret the Second Amendment, that is being thrown into the ocean for all times, we're going to apply a test called text history and tradition, meaning we read the text of the Second Amendment, then we look at the history of it at 1791 and determine are there any historical gun control analogs at the time, and if the answer is no, if there's a modern version of it, then we strike it down as unconstitutional. It doesn't count. It doesn't, can't be enforced. Well, again, that is such an important standard because what just happened in Colorado in front of a Joe Biden-nominated federal judge, Charlotte Sweeney. The good news is she seems to be following the law right now because she just entered an order, a temporary restraining order, that says that the county of Boulder, Boulder County in Colorado, may not enforce its recently enacted ordinance that prevents the sale and the purchase and the transfer and whatnot of so-called assault weapons in large capacity magazines, which we all understand are propaganda terms. And what's very interesting is actually, I got a copy of this decision just recent, just like literally within the last hour. What she actually says is that the plaintiffs are not using the phrase assault weapons, or she says large capacity, uh, high, large capacity magazine, she says, because they're prop because the plaintiffs claim they're propaganda terms. And she acknowledges this. And what she goes on to say in her opinion is to say, yes, I understand that, but I'm going to use the words large capacity magazine and assault weapons for the purposes of my analysis here. Why? Because that's what Boulder, Colorado used to label these things. And therefore, I'm going to use it even though I'm not conceding that they are. I thought that was quite an interesting footnote. Now, the name of this case is Rocky Mountain Gun Owners versus the Board of County Commissioners of Boulder County, Colorado. So got a shout out to the Rocky Mountain Gun Owners. Uh, they've been having a great streak of wins out there. Because keep in mind, just a couple weeks ago, we talked also about this major victory in Colorado in, involving another town. Uh, we know that Judge Raymond Moore, we talked about him. He was an Obama pick to the federal bench. He also struck down on a preliminary injunction basis, meaning, you know, temporarily that that continues in place. He decided that uh, that, yes, indeed, a similar uh assault weapon ban in a different county in Colorado was also likely unconstitutional and could not go into effect. So here we have right now, today, just a couple months after NYSERPA versus Bruin, we have two decisions out of federal judges in Colorado, no less, one a Biden appointee, one a Obama appointee, both saying that under the current interpretation of the Second Amendment by the U.S. Supreme Court, so-called assault weapon bans, which as you know are just standard capacity, uh, you know, standard capacity magazines, not large capacity magazines, uh, AR-15 style firearms, uh, these are not assault weapons. I know the anti-gunners like to label them as such, and I'm sure Boulder, Colorado did so because they embraced the propaganda, no shock there. Uh, but the good news is we have now two judges in Colorado alone, um, both Democratic appointees saying, 
these are likely unconstitutional. Now, I want to talk briefly about what Judge Sweeney found. Judge Sweeney points out that even a momentary, even a momentary violation of somebody's Second Amendment rights is irreparable harm. That's an important standard to show before a court enjoins something temporarily. Will the plaintiff be irreparably harmed if this ordinance, meaning the assault weapon ban in Colorado, goes into effect? And she says, absolutely, because uh, if a plaintiff is denied his constitutional rights, even for a moment, that is considered irreparable harm. Then she goes on to say, is there any kind of a public interest here for the government in the county of Boulder, Colorado, uh, to have this law enforced? And she, it was very fascinating what she said. She says, look, the government's public interest is to make sure the Constitution is not violated. She says the government cannot have any interest whatsoever in having a violation of of the Constitution within its jurisdiction. So she said as a consequence, because there's a substantial risk here that the plaintiff's constitutional rights under the Second Amendment may be violated by this assault weapon ban, large capacity magazine ordinance, the county of Boulder has no right or interest whatsoever no public interest in Colorado whatsoever in having this law enforced because, again, she said, uh, governments are not supposed to have an interest in allowing for the violation of any constitutional rights, including Second Amendment rights. So, again, bottom line is another win for the Second Amendment today. I know we sometimes... Uh, I know some people out there in YouTube uh, talk a lot about, you know, being depressed. They're upset. Uh, they feel like, uh, you know, things are going badly for the gun rights movement. Uh, I do not think we should feel that way. I think we should be optimistic, cautious, but optimistic. Because, again, this is a kind of a case that really shows how the gun movement in America has tr transformed for the better. Not only have we gone from one constitutional permitless carry state decades ago to 25 and growing in terms of permitless carry, now we literally have Democratic appointees to the federal bench in Colorado of all places, both Barack Obama appointees and Joe Biden appointees are basically raising an eyebrow asking, hey, these so-called assault men, they certainly seem to be unconstitutional under the current law of the Second Amendment. And I think we should be happy that this is what's going on because I think it is a sign of things to come, which is exactly what I predicted even before the Bruin case was decided uh, for those of you who've been with us from the beginning about you know seven or eight months ago. Okay, hope you learned something here today at the Four Box Designer. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're really working hard to get our subscribers out there. We're having issues for some reason. People are subscribing, but it's just not growing that fast. We're not quite sure why, uh, but the bottom line is I'm asking all of you to please help uh, grow this channel. We'd really appreciate it. And again, we'll see you next time here at the Four Boxes Diner. Orders up, table 2A.